What you working on? Working on our electric box. Our electric box? Yeah, on our car. Been a while since we've made a video. We finally got a little momentum, looks like. How do you know how to do this? I don't know. <laughs> I just figured it out, I guess. So what we're looking at here is the main coming in and it's feeding from the top. Obviously it's dead. I couldn't touch it if it was live. So this is a uh, hot one and hot two and this is neutral or common they call it. And then I'm hooking the other side of the box up which is the same thing. So this is hot one and hot two. Each one is That is the first hot. And then I've got to run neutral, which I'll run last because it's easier to work with. It's not as thick a gauge. And here's hot too. I'm getting ready to run that one next. Finally getting a little bit of traction in the house. We've got a little bit of framing done. So we'll talk about that in just a second. Yeah, there it is on this side. See that? Uh-huh. And so I'm going to do the same thing with this other wire. That's why I haven't mounted this box yet. It's running behind here. Oh. And it's just cramped. So I would rather run these main mains in. And once the mains are in, I can mount the box and everything else can easily work around that. It's good to see you working again. It's been a while. Well, it seems like it. You took a little hiatus. Did you? Should we tell everybody what kinds of stuff you've been doing instead of this kind of work while we had to wait? Yeah, that's fine. Which has been what? Uh, I've been working on moving dirt around. Right. And I've been working on trails for another. Yeah. And um, just miscellaneous stuff around the house that we've needed to do. And then I've been working on running errands like gathering trim. And yeah, so we got some framing done. Yeah. We got half of the house framed. Yeah. So what we're in the garage right now where my car will go. It's just a one car garage. Right. And, and this will be the wall out. here. Okay, so should we give a tour of um, the framing, the rooms that we got done? Sure, we can take a break from putting the power. Okay. Well, and there's Mini Muffin. She is just getting fluffier and fluffier in this winter weather. And there's Frito. Hi, Frito. Hello. What's going on? That's a good boy. That is a good boy. Yeah. So this in here is going to be the laundry room. And let's see. We need to shut that door. Come on, Frito. That's a good boy. Yeah, so I think we decided that we're going to put a little dog bath down there and a sink. And then we'll probably put the washer and dryer, like a stackable washer and dryer right here, right? Mm -hmm. That's what yeah, we're thinking. Think that's great. And then I'm going to have a countertop here for um, folding laundry and such. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty big laundry room. It's a very big laundry room. Here, I'll back up a little so we right. can see. You can't touch right the wall. Like here's the door. The door oh, yeah, frame. This is a really big one, but it's going to be a mudroom too. So. Yeah, and then this right here is going to be a coat closet right next to that when you come in. So, okay, so here's the laundry room, and then this door right here, we go into our master closet, which is another ginormous room, which we designed that way because I want a big closet. It's a big closet. <laughs> yeah. But and we extended it a little. It was going to be about what, like a foot well, there's a line right there. in. There's yeah, a line. That, yeah, like a that foot. That blue line was where it initially was. Right, and we and scooted. She wanted more space. Scooted it over because I would rather have more room in my closet than in the master bathroom. And we but still have a big this bathroom. is already going to be big anyway, though too. Yeah, but this is where the sinks are going to go, right there. And then let's see, we're going to put a. Barn door in there. Yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a barn door slide. It'll just slide out here. It'll just barely fit where the bidet will be, but yep. that's okay. Yep, and any of you who have ever been to our last house, you remember we had a bidet there, so we're doing that again here. 
they're very refreshing. <laughs> There's the tub. And yes, this on the front side of the wall is going to be where my clawfoot tub is. And um, then the behind the wall here is going to be the shower where you walk in where Minnie is. Minnie Muffin, are you in the shower? So this will be nice. It's going to have kind of a neat shape to it. If you can tell at all. Yeah. So, and then we'll do, another barn door. we'll do another barn door here and we walk into our master. And these are the windows and the view in the master, which is just going to be heavenly. And a back door over there out to the porch. Yeah, so pretty, another pretty big room. This is a good size room, yeah. I'm kind of glad. Yeah, yeah, this is like our side of the house. <laughs> Well, maybe this is our retirement home. We don't know yet. Oh, well, yeah. Well, I mean, that's we thought the, the last home was our well, retirement Well, I was going to say, that's the plan that this is our retirement home, but you we never know. Because yeah. you got to, you know, how do you make God laugh? You tell him your plans, plans, and then he'll tell you his. So this is like a, um, what do you call this thing where you walk out of this door, and then there's an opening here out into the living room space. What do you call this thing again? Uh, you could call it a landing. A landing? Yeah, an entry landing. Okay. Yeah. Typically, they use that for, I think, two-story, they call that, but yeah. when it's on the first floor, I, I'm not exactly sure what they call it. Yeah, that. there's got to be a name for it, but, and then this is where the kitchen will be, and this will be the living room. Minnie, you're in the living room and right there's now. The, there's the lines for the yep. other stuff. Yeah, we got the lines, the chalk lines snapped for the other side, although I'm going to make a few changes. <laughs> Now that I see it, I want to change a few things, so I'm going to be talking to you about that this evening. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's going to be good. Um, just for posterity's sake, I want to document that the lumber for this side of the house alone in, when, when did we buy it? January of 2020? Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, 2022. I forgot what year we're in. January of 2022, that much wood right there, and this wood is what's left over, was $5,300. Yeah, that's with discount. That's with a 10% discount. Uh, yeah, we got a 10% military discount. Oh. Um, so, oh my gosh, it is just insanely expensive right now. It's, it's a crazy world, crazy times.